Come with us vlog style as we spend the morning in Tarpon Springs, Florida. Tarpon Springs is a small town just under an hour north of St. Pete. It has the largest population of Greek and Greek Americans in the United States, and it's home to the historic sponge docks, which has been active since the 1800s. We just got the last spot in the very first parking spot that you'll see when you come to Tarpon Springs. We did not know that there is a craft show here today, so um, it's really busier than usual and a little bit harder to get a spot than usual. We usually do not have a hard time finding parking, but this lot is completely full today. And this is the start of the downtown area, if you can see like down there. so. Got pretty lucky. You can see here the reason parking was tough to find. They closed down the streets of the historic downtown area for the art fair. There were tons of vendors and obviously a lot of people are out enjoying the day. This was actually in the beginning of the day and it got busier from here. We wandered the streets for a while before stopping into Taste of Greece for some Greek treats and some Greek coffee. They had a ton to choose from, as you can see here. There was so much that it was really difficult to choose, but ultimately I went with chocolate as always. I'm actually not sure what mine was called. It's there on the left. It didn't have a label, but it was delicious. It was seriously so good. And while we have a clip of me trying it, I can't play that clip with sound because the background music in the restaurant was so loud that I know I would get a copyright strike from YouTube, which I'm trying to avoid. Um, but it was really good, like I said, you'll just have to enjoy it without me telling you in real time how good it was. We are in Tarpon Springs this morning. If you don't know, it's a really, well not really small, it's a smaller town located just north of St. Pete, about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on where you're at. Um, and it's adorable. There is a lot of Greek influence here, a lot of Greek culture. Right now, we are, we just finished up our breakfast at Taste of Greece. Um, I have some Greek coffee here. I've never tried Greek coffee before, but Mitchell has tried his already. He doesn't think I'm gonna like it. It's pretty strong, so. So they said that it's made with like grounds in it, so you want to let it sit so that the grounds go to the bottom. So if you're going to try to drink coffee, know that. Um, it sounds like you're stalling, is kind I of what it sounds like. I am nervous. Okay. All right, here we go. I wonder if it's still hot. Nah, too. it's not. You better just try it. It smells really good. It does smell good, yeah. Okay, I like it. It is, it's still boiling lava hot. It though. is really hot, yeah. But it, I, I like it. I did add, I don't know about, I don't know if they put cream in there, but definitely, definitely sugar. And um, so yeah, he asked if I wanted cream or sugar. And I was like, I don't know, I've never had the cup. And he's like, oh. <laughs> well, I can't remember if cream. Anyway, you get it. Okay. We spent the rest of the morning really wandering the streets, going into the various shops, as well as enjoying the market. Overall, this is just a really quaint and amazing town to just wander. It is waterfront as well. That's where the sponge docks are located, is right on the waterfront. So it's just a great way to spend the morning. Also, just spending one morning in Tarpon Springs doesn't give me an opportunity to show you everything that Tarpon Springs has to offer, so I would actually love to go back again and do a more educational video rather than vlog style like I'm doing today so that I can cover more of what there is to do. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you'd be interested in and if you have anything specific that you'd like to see or any questions about Tarpon Springs that I can answer for you in that video. Just a short walk from all of the action, you'll find Five Branches Brewing. They're a small batch brewery and they have a really good environment. The employees are so friendly. In their Google reviews, that is mentioned over and over again and it's true, they were amazing. They also have live music on the weekend. It is about a block off of the main road and that block is such a cute area to wander. It's 
truly adorable and I can't wait to go back. We will definitely visit this area of Tarpon Springs again. It was a new area for us as well as this brewery. We just finished up downtown. It was great to wander the market and all of the stores. It was amazing. We planned to eat lunch at Rusty Valley, but it was just packed. Like, there was a huge group of people waiting outside to get in. So I don't know if we're going to for lunch yet, but we stopped to take a break. Um, we are five branches brewing, and this beer is great. Blood orange raspberry wheat. It's really good. And what did you get? I got the hipster salad. This is just strawberry basil ale. I was looking at that one. Yeah. That one's good too. So yeah. um, there's some holdings on the TV. We're enjoying it. There's a, even a charcuterie board. Like, we are. We're set. Like it. Yeah. Tarpon Springs is awesome. Cheers. I'm holding it. The light here wasn't really cooperating, but I wanted to show you how charming the brewery is. So we really only scratched the surface of Tarpon Springs, like I mentioned, and plan to do another video on what there is to do, see, and eat in the area. If that's something that you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it when it does come out. We finished up downtown, and now we are at a brewery. We're wandering downtown, it's great, it's a little refresher. We're at 